Alright y'all, y'all already know what's happening. You've seen the title. We back here with another banger. You feel me? That's facts, no cap. Morgan Mike Tim's, you heard? We'll be back here in this video. I'm gonna be going over a few bicep workouts that I think are the best for making your arms bigger, you feel me? I know you guys out there, you get your arms pretty. You know, it's winter time right now, but we gotta we got a bill for that summertime for me on the beach, right? Or we go to a little pool party or something like that, you feel me? And you want the ladies to be all up on your arms. So I'm gonna just help y'all out real quick from a bro to another bro, you know? Females, you can do this too. You know, it's, it's, this workout is bisexual. That's not offensive, no. That's not offensive. Um, but yes, this workout is for male and female. But um, my guys, I'm gonna be going over these workouts. I'm gonna explain why I think that they're the best for getting your arms bigger, why I do it. I'm gonna put in rep ranges, my suggested rep ranges, set ranges, everything like that. Actually, I'm gonna tell you up front right now, for all arm movements, I do either three or four sets of each thing. I change up the rep ranges, but it's always three or four sets. I never really do more than that or less than that. So that's a little Easter egg for you right there, you feel me? So let's get right into it, man. All right, this first movement, very simple. We've all seen it before, right? I know you've seen it before. You've probably done it before too. You've definitely done it before if you've been in the gym um, or any place with a barbell. But yeah, um, it's a simple barbell curl. And I always used to, well, always do, start off with this in the beginning. I never do any crazy weight. I never do any crazy amount of uh, reps, nothing like that. Usually I'll start off with it just to warm up my biceps because it's a very staple movement. It's a very compound movement. It's, you know, people think it's too simple. I don't. It's, you know, if the wheel isn't broken, why fix it, you feel me? I tend to stay between the 10 to 15 rep ranges for this. And yeah, that's about it. It's pretty simple. No, nothing much to explain, you feel me? Now this workout right here has to be one of my favorite bicep movements of all time. It's the single arm hammer curls. And the reason why I like this versus like the alternating curls is that I get to like focus strictly on one arm. My core will get engaged by trying to help me keep my body intact. You don't want to swing when you're doing any bicep movement. You always want to keep your elbows tucked, especially if you're doing a curl like this. If you're doing like a preacher curl or something like that, which we'll go over later, um, your elbows will be out. But if you're doing like a dumbbell curl like this, always keep your elbows tucked. Don't swing them back and forth. And don't swing your body to get the weight up. Just focus on that weight. I usually do a little heavy weight for this one. So I'll probably bring, the highest I have in there is probably like 50s. And I keep the rep ranges from like 6 to 10. Um, so yeah, that's just my suggestion. All right, so this next one right here, people really sleep on the forearms. But the reverse curls help you hit your biceps plus your forearms. You know if you got thick forearms, you feel me? Your arms are a little bigger overall. Um, so that's why I incorporate this. I tend to keep the rep ranges pretty high for this one. Lightweight, 20s maybe. I'll grab myself a set of 20s and just do like 20 reps, 15 reps, something like that. You'll really feel it. Make sure, like I'm saying, you're not squeezed. I mean, you're not swinging the, um, the dumbbells. You're really controlling the movement just like this, just like you see me doing it in the video. You feel me? That's right behind me or in front of me, outside of me. Wherever it is, it's by me. Keep your body still. Squeeze at the top. Let your body go all the way down. Now for this movement right here, it's the incline dumbbell curls. I just, well, no, I've been doing these for a while, like six months now. Um, and I really like it due to the fact that it, it increases your range of motion. Cause it's kind of like you're starting a curl from all the way back here and bringing it up, which I like so you can get more of a stretch in your bicep. You get more range of motion. And when you get to the top, make sure you squeeze. Like I said, well, like I said before, the weight, I don't go crazy, probably keep the same weight 20s and probably go for a lower rep range because it is kind of harder because it is harder because of there's more range of motion. So I'll probably do like 15 reps, somewhere around there, 12 to 15 reps um, with a low weight, nothing crazy. All right, for the last movement of the day, this is a hanging curl or a preacher curl. It's my variation of a hanging curl because I don't like to hang, like sit down and hang. You probably have seen it before if you haven't. This is basically what it looks like. It's not so much of a preacher curl. Can people might say it's a preacher curl, but it's not really it's a hanging curl. But I like this just because I get to, at the top squeeze. You know, I'm doing hammer. You can do it um, regular grip or hammer. I like hammer just because I like to hit the forms a little bit more. You can also do it this grip instead of the hammer. Um, either way, once you get to the top, squeeze at the top and let it go all the way down so you can um, get the full range of motion, you know? And that rep range, I keep it pretty from eight to 12 or eight to 15, somewhere between there. You could choose the weight. I would go medium weight, nothing too heavy, nothing too light though. 
all right, y'all. So that's the end of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all got something out of it. You know, hopefully you guys go and actually do this stuff. The, all those workouts, I did four sets of. I actually did a workout, like, while I was shooting the video, I just recorded some sets, put it all together. That was actually my workout, in all honesty. So all five of those movements, I did four sets with the rep ranges of, in between the suggested rep ranges that I said while going over each movement. So if you guys want to do it, you can do it. It was great. I got a nice little arm pump. It's kind of gone now because it's cold in my house and my pump didn't want to stay, I guess. But um, yeah, like I said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like right now. Comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications because we got bangers coming out. No matter what, I'm always drop bangers. It's facts, no cap, no rap snacks, no Fetty Wap rap snacks, no Migos rap snacks. What other rap snacks do I have? What am I doing? I don't know. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna see y'all up. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.